Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to bring you a brand new Let's Play! Mario vs. Bowser and Mighty No. 9, a Super Mario World ROM hack, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this hack is made by the same guy that also made Grey Strikes Back, also known as Roberto Zampari, as you can see in the lower left corner. So he wanted me to do this hack, and Mighty No. 9, of course, is the spiritual successor of Mega Man which has been getting a very massive cult following once that game comes out. So anyways, let's get started! He messaged me on my Facebook page, and which you can actually see pretty much in the description on almost every one of my videos. Today it's a normal day for Mario until suddenly, well... In terms of this, do not push the A button, because if you do, this happens. You supposedly get sent to the begin point, where you can continue the game, and get yourself a nice bit of lives to start off. However, there is a catch. You get your lives, bada bing, bada boom, but you're stuck forever. I actually messaged Roberto about this, and he told me all you had to do is just push B during the opening cutscene, and then still asked me, you know, to do the hack, rather than just point out that this is a very serious flaw that should be pointed out on Super Mario World Central, and hopefully it was. Because that is a game breaker right there. Paracarry appears and gives a letter to Mario that Princess Peach sent him. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I've made a party just for you. Yours truly, Princess Peach. You know, she couldn't really just tell him or anything. And Mario's like, let's go! That's literally it. So yeah, as long as you didn't push A during that whole segment, you're fine. So, I guess we'll just begin, and no, you can't even get into the house. Kickstarter funded, four million dollars. Another thing I noticed, periods and commas are in the exact opposite places of where they should be. Maybe that was a joke, I don't know, it didn't seem like a joke that I would get. So let's go to the Grassland route, which is very similar to 1-1, but for the first part, and then it just goes off on its own. This music, of course, is from New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. I remember Let's Playing that game years ago. It wasn't really the best DS Let's Play that I did, but it was one that I was able to pull off so well. It did have its moments, like, say, dying just before the flag in one of the stages in World 8. That lived on in a moment of infamy, let me tell ya. Of just my heartbreaking disappointment of getting so close, only to lose. Just like that. Well, it was the final world, so I did have an excuse, but that being said, I obviously had to be a bit more cautious from here on out. Cause I did get a bit cocky, I know. I tend to do that when I'm near the end. A star, don't mind if I do. Oh, I would like to kill that Koopa over there, or that paratroop, I mean to say. Get some one ups. Ooh, lots of one ups, apparently. Okay, now I'll just, just go back to what all this stuff was. Doesn't seem like it was anything. Ah, 22 points. Awesome. Okay, World 1 seems pretty simple, you just go around almost like in a U-shape. So let's go to Grassland Caves. Give you a nice bit of time, like 500 seconds to start things off. And it's not like the timer resets whenever you go to a new area, like some hacks been known to do. Oops, swooper, I can't kill it. Ceiling's a bit too low. Okay, so I did not really play a lot of this hack. I think I got as far as like the middle of stage two because I was still rotted in my mind that there was a game breaking glitch. Like, not even in the first stage. Like, in the cutscene, there's already a bug. He told me that the levels tested out just fine, so at least that's gonna be fine rather than, you know, just crash midway through the game. And then I'm not going to be able to make any more progress. Like, we don't want to go through that, let me tell you, because that would be like a big waste of my time. If I'm LPing a hack, oh, I can't finish it. 
So let's just hope that's not the case at all. Or maybe it won't be. I guess we'll... Yeah, that was bad. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Very interesting gimmick. We've seen this in uh, other hacks. Or even in popular Mario games like New Super Mario Bros. Wii or New Super Mario Bros. U. To have platforms like that. Parts of the ground that can crush you. Or you had to make specific jumps. Okay, just gotta take my time here. And it's been a while since I LP'd a hack on my own YouTube channel, so I know that gets a lot of views. Some people might actually like to see me do hacks all the time, like one after the other. That's not really my thing. Oh, I don't think I should go there. Maybe I should take a Buzzy Beetle shell with me. Because I could use that for something. And there's the exit right there. Not worrying about that tape, I just wanted to get a one-up. You know, I better stockpile on them right away. Route 2. Okay, not that much change in music. Oh, there's a Yoshi here. You saved a Yoshi! Somebody put a lot of effort into the message boxes. Well, they were aligned, so I'll give them that. We. Oui. It's nice to find a Yoshi in this hack. I mean, some hacks don't even have them. Okay, so far, I didn't really notice any places for secret exits. Like, I remember... was. I don't think it was Grey Strikes Back. It might have been another hack that there was hardly any secret exits, and the ones where there were secret exits, they would just take you to another world. I mean, they wouldn't take you to another world, they would just take you to a level you've already done. I mean to say. Oh, there's Yoshi. They give me a one-up because I was already riding one. Whoop! I did not even try to jump on that shell, I swear, it just happened. Well, at least I'm getting lots of power-ups. No shortage of them, that's for sure. Another one-up. Of course there'd be one over there. I mean, why else would you have a little cliff area? Oh, no, no, come back! Whenever you finish a level or exit by pausing, you can't bring Yoshi with you. Okay. So it's only good for, like, one stage. Well, that's the case. <laughs> I didn't even try to ride him again. I just want to use them as leverage to get more points. Grassland Tower. Okay, so our first mini dungeon, pretty much. Okay, nice tile set. It's actually from New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. I would like to get that coin. Of course, the music is actually from the Wii and Wii U version of the game. Like, I can recognize that music from anywhere. Okay, it doesn't seem that complicated. I could probably just use these dry bones over here. Like I said, you don't get anything special for just getting all five Yoshi coins except a one-up. But usually I like to try to collect them for the sake of doing so. You know, oh, pff, well that was bad. Maybe I should get like somewhere more inside or in the middle. That works. Well, at least it actually is a tower rather than, you know, just like a horizontal level because that would have been a major misnomer. Wait, there we go. For some reason he does that. It seems like it's taken off the land. Even though technically you're still walking. Hmm, what's this? Collect the four Yoshi coins to cross the yellow barrier. Okay, so there is something interesting if you do get all the coins. Like we actually get a feather. Okay, what the hell are you supposed to be? Whatever it is, you're gonna be destroyed. Done. 
Huh, Mega Man music. Okay, Pipe Hill Zone. Okay, try to make a little re- Agamon. Try to make a little something off of Green Hill Zone. But instead of that, just make it more pipey for Mario. Hmm, can I get up there? I'd like to see if I can, yes. Huh, three extra lives, awesome. And I killed Agamon with a dive bomb attack. Cool. Oh, you can actually hold down to get down these. I think I shall return just to get that Yoshi coin. Because if you're actually getting something special for them, I might as well just try to collect them all on every stage. See what happens if you do get them. Probably just different power-ups. That's still more than what you would get if you didn't collect everything. Oh, I can get up there. As long as I got this feather, I should be able to traverse many areas. Oh! I don't have that anymore. Oh my god, don't lose the flower too! Just barely got it. That'd be bad if you just lose both your power-ups in like one hit. <laughs> That was pretty close. Oh, I'm gonna need to, like, crawl slide for that. I actually wanted another feather. I was thinking, you know, get the star and, you know, wreak havoc, but no. I think in my best interest to actually have another feather. Considering I just lost the other one. Don't lose this one, too. Because then you just have wasted your own time. No, I don't really need this anymore, so I'm just going to put it in the inventory. Oh, careful. Yeah, I do remember Grey Strikes Back having a nice fair bit of Digimon as well. So far, I haven't seen any Switch Palaces. I don't think they're going to be hidden inside the levels, are they? So I haven't really seen any telltale signs that they would be. Oh, there are secret exits! I didn't think there would be, but we're gonna go to Mountain Athletics. Use the propeller block to reach to some impossible areas. Press A to fly and down to ground pound, okay. Okay, this is kind of awkward. That means I gotta, like, hold it with X. Because usually I'm just holding Y, but when you use a normal jump, it's not gonna work. Therefore, I have to do something like this. Like, hold X instead of Y. It works, but still. That means I'm using a slightly different control scheme than I'm used to. I wonder if I actually need this propeller block to find the secret exit. In that case, it might actually be over here. Well, not exactly here. However, getting all these coins might help a substantial lot. That means I have to look around for it. Oh wait, I got two coins. I thought I only had one. I must have got the first one in the beginning of the stage. Ground Pound doesn't really do much, except make you descend faster. you think there'd be like an earthquake effect, but no. Okay, this doesn't seem too hard. Getting used to controls for these kind of blocks right away, it's a good thing. I mean, it's hardly a bad thing. <laughs> oh, okay, now I found where the secret exit is. I would like to get this, though. Go for it! No! That was bad. Let's try that again. Okay, that's slightly better. It feels like a cop-out, but it works. So this had nothing to do with the coins. Alright, let's go back and get the normal exit, then I'll deal with the Switch Palace. There's a 
was actually designed pretty well. I mean, they give you a nice gimmick. At least it's not cheap. Because you know how I feel about cheap gimmicks. They're awful. And where was that second coin again? Oh, there it was. It was over here. Now I remember. Can I use this? Oh, no, you just drop automatically, because you are spin jumping, pretty much. There's no coins down there where the secret exit was, so I'm just gonna go on through here. That is a nice feature, you know, like, get all four Yoshi coins, you get some something hidden behind some kind of yellow barrier. That hasn't been done too often. I just gotta find where that barrier is. Man, it slows down so quickly, though, because there's so much going on at once. Uh, I don't know if that really did anything for me. Just give me a few coins. But what good is that gonna do? Oh, oh, football. Well, no part of this. Hmm. Okay, so you did need to go through that. That was just for a feather. I already got a feather. I thought they gave me something else. Oh, I got 30. No, 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 no. Oh, I lost the feather. If I get like uh, eight lives, oh, never mind. I'll feel a little bit better. Yeah, six lives, not too bad either. I can settle. Eh, yeah, let's go to the All Switch Palace. Well, I see a bunch of stars, if only I could use some of those. Uh, what is this P Switch gonna be for? Let me guess. Yeah, it was just for coins. I thought there was going to be a puzzle. Jeez, a lot of coins. Scrooge McDuck would probably wet himself here. Okay, so we're done here already. It was only like one of those one-room Switch Palaces. Then again, most of them are... If not all of them. And we shall move on to... Pretty soon, finish World 1! Let's do the Bridge Zone. Of course, this is based on Sonic the Hedgehog for the Master System and Game Gear. Oh, I wanted to do that with a Goomba so badly. Just offer him as a sacrifice to Boss Bass or something. That would have been cool. Would have been a nice way to finish that fish off for like a few seconds and then he'd just return again. Oh, apparently fire does not work. That was a tricky coin to get. Was it worth it? We may never know. Because chances are I'm not going to get every single one of them. I don't even think this fish can be killed. Maybe a shell can do it? Because I know fire for some reason does not. Oh my god, shells don't even do it. I'm too afraid for this thing to even touch me at all. Because I'm worried that even though it's not completely touching me, it'll still eat me. This is not good at all. But thankfully, we're clear of that crisis. Watch now, it's back in this area too. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh! At least I know there's a hidden block! It's too bad that there's hardly ever a chance a chance for you to get there. By the time you get there, it's practically too late. Oh, never mind. I was able to do it. Took me my second try, though. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. Like, hardly ever time wasted at all. Like, it's just instantaneous you get eaten. 
rocks fall pretty quickly. That's a scary thought. I should be cautious. Oh, jeez. Can't even hold down on these bridges either. Had no choice but to jump over the fish. That was pretty much my best chance of escaping. This fish doesn't stop. Oh, there was a missing coin. Could have got that three up moon. Eh, whatever. And let's go to Peach's Castle. Uh, Peach, how's it going? Oh, I thought it would just be like, you go to the edge of the screen, you're off to the, uh, exit and back to the world. Hmm. Why are we in Peach's Castle? This is terrible! Princess Peach was been... Oh my god, not more English errors. It has been kidnapped, not was been kidnapped again by Bowser. The party, and you did it twice! Oh, Jesus. An English teacher would probably just blow his brains out by the time he finishes this hack. Well, at least they have some cake for me. I feel like this is something I've seen in Zool for the Genesis? Is it Zool or Zoop? You know that ninja? What happened here? I can't exit this room, can I? Yes, I can. Wouldn't have been much of a good party. That cake must look awful. A new mysterious robot appeared in the throne room. Just be careful. Oh, uh, hi. How's it going? You look like a pretty damn big sprite, Mighty Number Nine. I've seen this kind of boss fight before, just not on that big of a sprite. It almost looks like the one from Mega Man 7, or it could be the arcade fighting games. You know, the power battle and the power fighters. Okay, I don't even know how many more hits it's gonna take. Oh, never mind. Now we know. That many. Okay, let's move on to World 2. Okay, now we can see the overworld. Okay, this is from Final Fantasy 1. Uh, this must be some kind of city, judging by all these buildings. Oh my god, that's a big-ass tower. It's world 3. Obviously, World 4 is going to be up in the clouds. Force of World 5. I'm guessing the ice world is World 6. Actually, we don't see a castle there. Until we get to World 7 over here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is stop the video here in the next episode. Let's try Spring Yard City 1. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching.